राइट नो लेट्स कम बैक एंड स्टार्ट विथ योर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी फेमस क्वेश्चन ऑफ ओजो हाउ इज ओजो एस्टिमेटेड क्वान्टिटेटिवली डन सो वी ऑलरेडी डन योर टाइट्रेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट इज इंटेड टू वॉल्यूमेट्रिक टाइट्रेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट सो ह्योर वी यू टू शो द एस्टिमेशन ऑफ ओजोन इन टू स्टेप्स लेट्स सी दैट फर्स्ट इन स्टेप वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग जस्ट रिमेंबर योर ओजोन इज ट्रीटेड विथ पोटेशियम आयोडाइड राइट फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन यू ऑलरेडी लर्न इन द प्रिपरेशन स्टेप वन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ओजोन विथ एक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ पोटेशियम आयोडाइड दैट मीन्स वॉटर प्लस आयोडाइड लेट सी दैट सो योर पोटेशियम आयोडाइड विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन सो योर ओ थ्री प्लस वॉटर डन सो फर्स्ट बिफोर राइटिंग दिस रिएक्शन आई विश टू राइट द मेन कॉन्सेप्ट एंड देन कम बैक टू दिस सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग दिस होल डायरेक्ट रिएक्शन लेट मी एरेज दिस एंड शो यू वॉट आर द स्टेप्स वी वेरी वेल नो ओजोन इज गोइंग टू डिसोसिएट इन टू ओ टू प्लस रेसेंट ऑक्सीजन डन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक दिस एंड ट्रीट विथ पोटेशियम आइडेड अक्वेस सो दिस इज वॉटर Now this nascent oxygen, as it is there in the solution, I know it is an oxidizing uh, nature. <clears throat> It's going to convert iodide to iodine. So remember, iodide it getting converted to iodine plus potassium combines with this, forming potassium hydroxide. I already showed you this reaction in the preparation of ozone. Please go to that video. Now uh, that that's done. Now here. <clears throat> Uh, iron is how much? Two, uh, isn't it? So I'm going to write two. Here potassium is two, so I'm going to write two. Now let us come back and cancel the reaction. This O and this O gets cancelled. So what is the final reaction? O three plus two K I plus water gives me oxygen here plus your K O H plus iron. Now this is your iron which you have got. That. So now this uh, iodine, whatever you have got. Now this whole thing is what is the thing? What buffer are you using? You are going to use borate buffer here, right? Which enhances the reaction. Now this borate buffer is maintained at a pH of nine point two. Done. After once I get this iodine, in step two, what am I going to do? I am going to treat this iodine or titrate it with sodium thiol uh, sulfate. So what do I do? Titration of I two with sodium thiol sulfate. Okay, what is the formula? I'm going to take that I two and I'm going to add sodium thiosulfate. Formula is Na two S two O three. Done. To this sodium thiosulfate, when you uh, just uh, try to titrate it in the uh, burette, <coughs> what product do you get? Suppose if I take two moles of this. Now observe carefully. <coughs> Here, this is Na two, isn't it? Done. Now observe this. To uh, the Na2, okay. Let us say that Na2 directly. Done. Sulfur two to the four S four. Oxygen three to the six. Six. Right. Now where is the other sodium, ma'am? One more sodium comes out with iodine as NaI two. Now observe. This is I two. This is I. With two moles of I, this is two sodiums. This is two sodiums. Four, sulfur four. This is two. Okay, <coughs> two two is a four. Oxygen is three two is a six. Three two is a six. This is called sodium thio sulfate, and this is called sodium thionate. so this is the procedure for estimating first to find the reaction or perform the reaction with potassium iodide you can just write like this then second is titration during this titration you have to use an indicator isn't it to find the end point here starch is used as an indicator starch as an 
indicator basically we do uh, this reaction also when you do your bachelor's in science we uh, basically I also did this that particular thing you will note the readings and finally do the calculations and estimate the value but here as of now you still only have the reaction then finally titration write the buffer here write the pH and write the indicator so this is how you are going to estimate ozone the procedure is only there for you all we have written the procedure further calculations not required for your grade 12 exam further if you are interested you can go to google and just browse it how to estimate uh, this is quantitatively how to estimate uh, your ozone quantitatively right yes